How did you uh, get in special to celebrate this week? Uh, no, nothing too crazy. It's yeah. a normal week. Just hung out. Had a good time. Did you enjoy public oh, service? Yeah, how you thought about, about your time out there? Today? Yeah. Good. Uh, yeah. Had a great practice and um, didn't didn't quite hit it right. First round of qualifying, made some adjustments. Um, I fixed a few things and still didn't get it perfect, but uh, we managed to go faster. So that's always uh, a good thing. And front row start again, you know, it's great. So, you know, the last uh, handful of times here, um, we've raced good, but we've qualified bad and that's hurt us. So hopefully this will be, uh, it's, it's a great start to the weekend for us today. And hopefully we can use it to our advantage tomorrow. Did you enjoy boating and or enjoy that lobster? Um, I don't know what happened to the lobster. Um, so I'm not sure. Um, all I know is they make a replica and give it to me later on. Um, I don't know if they cooked it and somebody ate it, but I damn sure didn't get any. So this was a track that helped you make the playoffs. Uh, I'm sorry. You're good. This is a track that helped you make the playoffs back in uh, 2015 and began, in my opinion, the prime of your career. Uh, what do you remember from uh, coming to this racetrack? And do you have the circled every year? Um, you know, I don't know. I, I enjoy coming here. I wouldn't say it's my best track. Um, I've had some great races here. We've had some not so great races and. You know, this place is, uh, it's all about just executing, having really good car speed and, um, you know, staying near the front all day long. So we, we haven't done that here consistently the last couple of years, but, um, you know, feeling really great about what we're at as a team right now and uh, what we've been able to do pretty much everywhere we go. So had a lot of speed today and that's, um, that's always a great feeling when you come here. Did you get the bow? Not yet. Not yet. You're, not yet. you're not even I'm looking at it Monday. Th those decisions still are. Going to look at it Monday. It still takes <laughs> me forever to do stuff. All right. Should ask you as well, having the battle with Byron for the regular season championship, how important is it staying consistent throughout these next six weeks? Yeah, it's the key. I mean, I, we need to be up front. You know, they're going to be, and they're going to be, uh, you know, challenging for wins. So we need to do the same, and, and I know we can do it. What do you feel like the strengths of your number 19 team have been throughout the course of the season? Obviously, you get racking up wins at this point. Um, it seems like you're building momentum at the right time. What do you feel like is leading to that success? Uh, you know, just great team and fast cars. And, you know, I don't know, just um, consistently being at the front. That's what you need to do to, to you know, be in the conversation for, for the championship and for regular season title. Um, you know, so aside from, you know, Chicago and, um, and you know the, the bad deal at the end of the Atlanta race. We've been you know up front every week, and we've had a lot of speed. So uh, we just got to keep being smart and making good decisions. And uh, you know the guys are bringing really, really fast cars to the track. So it's been fun. Hopefully we can keep it going. You and James have been adamant that not much has changed uh, between what last year was and what this year is, outside of the fact that you're getting the results. Why do you feel like you're getting the results now that you weren't a year ago? Is it just learning to car more and being more familiar with it? Yeah, I mean, I think overall just having more speed. You know, there's there's more room to, you know, mess around to, um, you know, the small mistakes aren't so magnified anymore. You know, I think if you're running at the front, you got good speed. You know, you, you know, it's. When you're scratching and clawing for everything you can to be near the front and you make one mistake or something doesn't go right, it's hard to recover. You know, we just, we just got a lot of speed right now. And, um, you know, like I said, they're, they're bringing really good cars to the track, unloading close. And we're just small tweaks throughout practice and throughout the weekend. And last year we were wholesaling things a lot and, and doing a lot of guessing. So there's a lot of it. Better cars, better understanding, and, um, you know, just making better decisions overall and making it easier for me. This was a strong track for Toyota last year, obviously. Um, do you, so far, so good. It seemed like today, do you anticipate um, this being a similar result where Joe Gibbs Racing can be at the top of the track? I hope so. I certainly hope so. That's what we're here to do. So, I mean, so far, so good. What challenge is unique to Pope though, brings to you and your team? You know, the biggest thing here is just three different turns. Um, you know, very a lot of speed, very high speed track, but not a lot of banking in the corner. So it's. It's uh, it's pretty sketchy. There's you know you're always on edge and and your car is never perfect in all three corners, so it makes it really challenging. And then you throw in traffic, it's really difficult. You know when you get in dirty air here. So um, you know at some point throughout the race, we're all going to be in a, in a spot we don't want to be, and it's uh, it's a big challenge. So whoever can get through traffic usually has a a really good day here, uh, especially towards the end of the race. Mark, can you talk a little bit about your qualifying lap and starting second, Mark? Yeah, you know, for round one, um, I didn't quite hit all three corners right, and, and I felt like I could have I could have done a better job. I felt like we could have made an adjustment on the car to help me as well, and we did that for round two and picked up. So that's all you can ask for, which, um, yeah, I still didn't get it perfect, but uh, front row is a good spot to start. How do you view things now that you're in the points league? 
you just got to try to stay there. You know, you got, it's 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 tough. Every week's a challenge. So um, good start to the weekend so far, and hopefully we can uh, finish it off tomorrow. Is there any change of philosophy when you're playing? I don't want to say necessarily playing defense, but it, do you look at it that way when you're defending point lead? No, I mean you just we try to get as many points as we can every week, no matter what. So I mean, um, you know, obviously you're you're not going to take any big gambles on on anything crazy, but you know, aside from that, we just go race and try to win and try to get stage points and bonus points, everything we can do. It's all about winning. It's all about points. So uh, the better we do, the, the better we'll look in the championship standings. It's all it all uh, comes together, you know. Did you buy your boat last week? I didn't. Not yet. I'm going to look. Oh, at, come I'm, on. I'm going to look at it Monday. You keep putting it off or I what? I sent a down payment to hold it so I can go look at it. <laughs> one step at a time. Yeah. Um, can you talk about Richmond? And drivers seem to like that track, whether they're good there or not. Yeah, I love it. I think it's a great track. I think, you know, just uh, the lack of the lack of grip and the tire wear. You know, I think drivers always like old wear out tracks that, was, you know, where we smoke the tires off and you're just feel like you're in the snow or on the ice, you know, on long runs. So it's uh, it's a lot going on there. It's a bunch of fun. Everybody likes it. I, I really do enjoy it. Thank you.